Welcome Chicago Public School parents, guardians, and family members. Today we're going to show you how to register for the Aspen Parent Portal. Keep in mind that while Aspen has many mobile-friendly features, the registration process works best from a web browser. In order to have an Aspen Parent Portal account, two things must be in place. First, you must be listed as a contact for your student in the student information system. Second, you must have a valid active email address listed on your contact record. Make sure to touch base with your student's school to ensure that both of these steps are in place. If you currently don't have an email address, you can sign up for one free by going to gmail.com. Once you exist as a contact in Aspen and you have an active email, you will receive an email from Aspen. The email subject line will state, Chicago Public Schools has granted you the ability to create a parent portal user account in Aspen. All emails through the registration process are sent in both English and Spanish. This initial email will include a validation code that you will need to proceed to create your account. You're gonna click the link that says click here to take you to the next step. Once you click the link, you will be taken to the registration wizard. You will select the only option that says, I'm a parent new to CPS's Aspen Parent Portal. Then you will click the Next Step button. After clicking Next Step, you will be prompted to enter the security code that was sent in the original email. Once you enter the security code, you will click Next Step. Aspen will then present you with a visual of your contact information. This page will be read-only. You will not be able to edit it. If you see information on this page that is incorrect, Stop this process and reach out to your student's school. If the information presented on the screen is correct, go ahead and click Next Step. On this page, you will be prompted to enter a password, confirm your password, choose a security question, and enter security question answers. As a reminder, your full email address will be your username for Aspen Parent Portal. Once you've entered the information on this screen, go ahead and choose Create My Account. Once you've chosen Create My Account, you will receive a validation screen. It will state, Account Request Processed. At this stage, you will receive an email verifying that your application has been successfully processed. You can go ahead and click Close. If you navigate back to your email, you will be able to open the verification email from CPS's Parent Portal. It will tell you that you're almost done with the Family Portal account creation process. Go ahead and click the link that is provided. Once you click the link, you will be brought to a verification page. It will state that your Aspen Parent Portal account has been successfully completed. You can go ahead and click Close. At this stage in the process, you will be able to log into Aspen. Go to aspen.cps.edu and enter your username and your password. Remember, your username is your full email address, and the password is the password that you chose in the registration process. Once you've entered that information, go ahead and click Log On. When you first log into Aspen, you will see some mini tabs at the top of the screen. You will be defaulted to the home mini tab. If you'd like to change the portal's language to Spanish, you would click the second mini tab to the right of the home tab. That tab will list instructions on how to change the portal's language to Spanish. To change the portal's language, click on your name in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Then choose the option set preferences. Once you've opened your preferences, you'll be defaulted to the General Top tab. In the field titled Default Locale, expand the dropdown and choose Spanish. At this time, English and Spanish will be the only options for Aspen Parent Portal. After you've chosen your desired language, go ahead and click OK. At this stage in the process, when you log into the portal, you will not see any student information. You'll need to complete one last step in order to see student data on the portal. After logging into Aspen for the first time, you will see a widget on the landing page called Pending Student Application. This is how you attach a student to your account. It's going to ask you for two pieces of information to verify to attach a student to your account. The first is the first name, and the second is the date of birth of the student. If you have multiple students, this widget will continue to appear until you successfully attached all students to the portal. You may have to log out and log back in to see the widget reappear for multiple students. After you've successfully attached a student, you will see a confirmation statement appear at the bottom of the widget, stating, this student has been successfully added to your portal. Click the Family Top tab to see his or her information. Once you've added students, top tabs will appear. 
That concludes the Aspen Parent Portal registration process. Thank you for joining us today.